Welcome to DJ Kitchen Award Production. Production. Giving you tips to spice up. To spice up your DJ. Hi everyone. This is DJ Kenya today. And I'm back again with another tutorial on Sunny Acid Music. But today we are just going to talk about how to do a smooth transition in Sony Acid Music Studio 10 or Sony Music Acid Studio. Whether any version that you are using, you can just get into it. Okay, so right before we do today, so meaning it is going to be an involvement of two tracks. I already have my software open. Uh, so uh, what you have to do is I just have to go for my first track. And the first track is Rosary Banjuka. Banjuka. I will just have to go and put a song in, do my bitmap as well. Okay, so no wasting my time. You know the procedure. You can just go out there and check out how to do your bitmap. Yeah, okay. So I have to do my bitmap of the song. Listen. Okay, next. Check my loop and see. Lufa. Wow, so looking at this, you can see I have, I have a correct uh, beat tempo. Oh, so, yes, okay. Right, next, okay. So I just have to go finish. So everything is intact. So I can just come here and see my BPM again 102, 1012. No, but the actual BPM of the song is 102. You see? So you see that. Uh, the software after everything has do a de like have decreased it what is so so if you know the actual bpm of the song from that is your virtual dj here so you can just check banjuka this is it and i have 102 here that is the actual bpm of the song okay yeah, i just you have to come here now so baba no have a shame your clip property about 102 and I say movie I come back you click the general go back here you see so after clicking the 102 you have to come here one here to you have to change it to what one zero two so that is our first song Banjuka so okay let's play and see So that is our first track so we have get it at a normal bpm and uh, we haven't had any pitch or anything to wait so we have to insert a new audio track right so we have our music in and you and we have a bpm rate at 102 beat per minute i had a ball so one thing we have to know is and you see i had a comic say the song that we can use to make sure be below this BPM just to make like equalize the tempo so that our pitch will not be high or low, too low, too high. As I'm making it, I say, I will see a funny man BPM lower than any way because I'll find money BPM is such a way, meaning a pitch, you know, a bit negative. Because it is going to sync with this BPM. Okay. So meaning a new bit with the MX should be maybe because the person approach in a bit more than plus five or like negative. So meaning a new hundred, you bit me I dey abo because when you do your calculation, now hundred to uh one zero two. When you do the calculation, I will say a plus two. Never the barber count. Think I virtual DJ software. Think I plus two. 
still your SD plus five to get a normal pitch. I'll be moving your new journey. So most of the time, people are playing songs. You see that they have high pitch because they don't do calculations with their BPM. Oh, maybe I'm playing the song. Uh, this song I can play because of the pitch uh, or the BPM range. You know, they just drop because one zero two. I'm fast about find you may eighty something. Yes, the software is going to sing for you, but get to know that. Look at the pay difference. So, one key also the two team they say, we are not going to beat map again. So, let me go for my next music, and I'm going to use Kaukasi Dundu uh, because I think that BPM is 100, the BPM rate is 100. So, I take my Skonti and Kaukasi Dundu, then I will paste it in my second audio track. So then I have to drag it back. You see? So after uh, dragging it back on you know, one thing is listen to the music. So if you see the sound. On say nyomne tempo na sasa, me be chero dintia. Because the moment you don't beat map, I would be too musa no. A dear no. On the initial BPM and I said tempo range in the amount. So if you want to change this to the song normal tempo range, you have to click on the track using your mouse. Click on it. The one say uh, highlight. Uh, then you go to your clip property once again. Then you go to the stretch. You see that you know the song BPM is 120. So it has sync with this master tempo. Oh, what this? Because here is 120 already. SNK with this 102. That is why I and you know, I have to say, you know, not a boss slow, no, I now want to ask you know, okay. So you have to change this thing to the normal BPM that is 100. Then you click your general, okay. So then you come here. So since you have changed this thing to be 100, no, it is going to sync automatically sync with this music. So right now, no. You see, say here is 100, but in this project, project we mu no, that is uh, inside here. This project here, no, right now, and you be out of the be no, ever done it 102. That is why I told you that to check your BPM well when picking the song, do your calculation, okay? So you could see, say, right now, here. <laughs> Once right now, you have a normal tempo beat. I think I'm here. So we are going to do our mess. But first of all, we have to do our queuing. And the queuing is like uh, selecting a particular part. That is a baseline or a meaningful part for the song to start from. So you have to zoom it and check our lines. Okay. We have deep, deep lines there. I think say this is a perfect start. Okay, so you have to zoom in well. First of all, you have to erase, erase, erase. Okay, zoom in again because you need uh, smaller lines. Zoom in. Okay, so when you zoom in like this, let me zoom in for you. You see, say here, you know, this is the baseline. I know we near pe, but line here then eda because the moment you hold this and zoom. Still near the fade and echo back as still from a kind of ever no. So let me zoom back. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me zoom in again. So what we have to do is we come here up here. Watch. We call something enable snapping. I was say we free the uh, use of the enable snapping is a. Uh, Say we enable snap in the film and my way to me drag it at the end smoothly. But enable snapping is a more or drag it or the mouth boss by boss. So from here, no, we can drag this smoothly at the better line and up a pepe. We are then you put your enable snap, you know, you drag it like this to the line. Okay, to drag it back to line, we are. The next thing is you put your enable snapping in. 
said the old drag here. Don't make see like so pepe pepe. You see, we get a correct start. So you see, a virtual DJ more. I said you must also queue one and what come mixing. So same to us. You have to queue first, and this is the queuing process. Getting a correct start of the song. So after getting the correct start, I feel that you have to go back to our music. And you know here, brother, that no. He found the person you need to do a mix. Shaku shaku one time. Okay. Shaku shaku one time. You know, some uh, there is a baseline mixing, and you know, boy, do baby, I'm so drop it. Uh, I sing it, but that is why we do want to do our mix. And you know, it's coming to end. Okay. Do I have your tea one time? Shaku shaku. Okay. Do I have your tea one time? Shaku. So do I do it one time? Shaku shaku. That is where we want to. Uh, Start the mix because there is a vocal, and you know, we mix vocal with instrumental. Kwakwesi own start with an instrumental, yeah. You can't mix vocal with vocals, that is non fa, yeah. Okay, so you mix the vocal side with an instrumental. If it's the two side beat, it's cool, okay. Do I one time? Shaku shaku. So this is it, shaku shaku. Shaku shaku. So you have to create a marker. The reason for the marker is say ubun sa hana me best start I then I make say at the end. Shaku 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 Let me see here too. Shaku So it starts from here. Shaku shaku. Then you create a marker. You see, we create a marker there. Then you have to go back and bring our music like this. Then you zoom in. Then you see whether it is on point. So you see, that is it. Okay, then we have to drag this because the song is getting to an end. You have to drag this back. Okay, yeah, my name Monche. You be fade from here. Okay, so I have to go back here again. So where we create the marker, no, you have to split it, split the track. Yes, because we are going to load a base. I brought in here then. I be see, you know. So what you have to do is say, what split you have to say one is highlighted, right? One is not highlighted. And you know the highlighted part, you no, know, is the mix part. Ahania, you can also create another marker here, meaning this is where we are doing our transition. So what you have to do now is you go to your FS button here. You see this plus here, that is the event FX. Then you click on it, then you go. We are going to use load the base. That is Wawa. In uh, Sony Acid, we call it Wawa. Use your Wawa. Then you what? You double tap or you click on it, then you add or you double click. So you see that the plugin is here. Wawa. So you click OK. It will bring the audio plugin box, dialog box. Then you go here. Then you slow wawa, you slow word. Then you slow wa, meaning you are lowering your base. You slow the wa, okay. Then you close it. So we play from here. Then we listen. See one time, shaku shaku one time, shaku shaku one time, wale le lo one time. So what we can do here is. After you know, we get a perfect thing, but just to make the song fade, you bring your uh, case here. You see the fade button, then you drag. Oh, sorry, no, you bring your fade button here, then you, out. you fade in like this. Okay, so you could see this. <laughs> The reason is that the reason why we split the track is that if you don't split the track well and you just uh, insect your effect that is or your wah wah or your wah on the track, it is going to affect all the track. In the episode, I didn't know it affected maybe a mix here and quite enough. Was split maybe a wide and one mix and quite so that is a simple way. To mix a track, so let's listen from here and see how Miss Go. Do I your tea one time? Shaku shaku one time. Shaku shaku one time. Wale le lo one time. Okay.
Okay, so this is a smooth transition in uh, Sony Asset. If you want to use uh, uh, your asset for some mistakes, this is how you do your smooth transition. Just know the point where know your BPM you are working with and know how to do everything. So thanks very much. Subscribe to my channel. This is DJ Kenya once again with another tutorial. More tutorials to come soon. You know, you can just drop your comments at the comment section box. Thanks very much for watching. Do I just one time? Shaku, shaku.